And welcome back to the Whales and the Bays. I'm your host, Marvin Nanny, and I'm joined by Johnny Daly, Hello. Colin Clapper, and hey. Conor McGuinness. Hey. Easy Hello. peasy. All right, so we're going to do a uh, dramatic reading of a little known film called Birdemic Shock and Terror. Now, just to provide context, uh, Birdemic is simply one of the worst films ever made by a, by a guy who self proclaims himself to be the uh, master of terror. <laughs> self self proclaims himself. Yeah. That makes sense. A lot. Just so that, it's about him. He's just no, that no, sure of he himself. Self, he self proclaims that. He, procl- he, procl- he proclaims he, that he is the master of terror and romance. Oh, right. Well, okay. Despite the fact is this that James Nguyen guy? Yes, exactly. Okay. That's him. Good right. man. Uh, is there any, like, is it American or is it English? Or oh, what? it's American. Oh, American. it's full blooded American. All right. So, Birdemic, which is essentially Alfred Hitchcock's Birds, except it was made for 10,000, and it's awful. Uh, it's, yeah. In the boardroom of what looks like a mildly successful office building, the director, who has a rectangular mustache, stands atop of a table. Everyone is sitting still, yet still acting horribly. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some great news. Our board of directors has agreed to the acquisition of NCT Software by Oracle Corporation for a billion dollars. And then they started like, woo, woo, yeah, woo, woo. Nice one, lads. Ooh. That's actually better than what's in the film. Excellent. Yeah, they're, Maybe we should they're, remake it. they're like, <laughs> Connor, you do Rod again. And I'll do uh, Rick. Leaving the cinema. Still acting awfully. Will I act awfully? Man, that was a good movie. An inconvenient truth. That it is. I'm getting myself a car that's environmentally <laughs> friendly. <laughs> <laughs> That was good, Mark. I like that one. Well yeah, done. thank you. Uh, Connor, you stick with Rod. In some random, unspecified field, honestly, you won't care where they are. You'll be too blackout drunk from playing the Birdemic drinking game. Hey, look. There's an old guy on the bridge. That's the entire thing. That was, that was good. Uh, well done. Well done. Okay, uh, Johnny, do Dr. Jones. In another random field, bench parts area thingy. It's the human species that needs to quit playing cowboy with nature. We must act more like astronauts. Spacemen taking care of spaceship Earth. Oh, you really... The vibes. Uh, Colin, do the TV anchor. On TV. <clears throat> and many have died from starvation due to the difficulty of finding enough food. Such as... Seals. <laughs> um, now, there's this incredibly saucy love scene in the middle of the film. Uh, very explicit and uh, this is the best part in the movie because he genuinely <laughs> he gen- is it Mark is it the best gen- part no, no, it's because of what he says because he, he he genuinely says this out loud to the girl while they're getting intimate wow uh, so Colin you do uh, Colin you do Ramsey stay in character okay <clears throat> saucy love scene while in bed with Becky out loud man this is gonna be good fun <laughs> nope it's not right. It should be. <laughs> yeah, man, man, this is gonna, gonna be, be fun. fun. No, man, this is gonna be fun. No, it's even more like, man, it's gonna be fun. Man, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> and these are the very first lines in the uh, <laughs> in the film. <laughs> uh, who's Rod Connor? That was me. Yeah, I'll do uh, Nat- Natalie. Hi. Hi. Here's the menu. Thank you. That is, wow. that is great. Cap- that's is, like yeah. Academy Award. Worthy. That's Quinn Tarantino level. That's it David is. Kaufman level of, uh, yeah, of brilliance. And uh, to finish off, probably the greatest conversation between two men ever in a film. Colin, you do Ramsey. Uh, Johnny, you do Tony. Okay. <clears throat> Woohoo! Pumps his fist in the air. What's with all the noise? Caught the big fish. Yeah? How big was the sale? One million dollar! Awesome, man. <laughs> that is literally that is how the film progresses that's that's essentially it all right i think I, we should watch that film oh yeah have you Life, seen it Life oh Life. yeah oh i, I, haven't I, seen I can it. barely get through the film like it, it it's genuinely hard to watch how long is it it's like 90 minutes wow <laughs> it's hard it the, the 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 birds don't start attacking till the 44th minute really yeah like Godzilla. And, and until then there's Godzilla. no and there's no leading up to the attack it's just it just happens but it happens straight after the love scene, in fact. So is it like an adaptation of the birds? 
It's inspired by the bird. It's yeah. inspired by. It it's bird. just it yeah. said that the screenplay was by your man James Nguyen yeah, it was inspired and by Alfred Hitchcock. Like it actually said on Wikipedia that they wrote it together, <laughs> or implied that they wrote it together. I don't think so. I don't no. think I credit I mean, like on IMDb. It's like written by you know. It might be. Yeah, I don't. And then it goes in characters. Oh right. Okay. Maybe. maybe yeah. Oh. It's just it's a real insult to Alfred Hitch- Hitchcock if he's being labelled with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't actually notice that. That's yeah. Well done. 